Hi, it's Camille here. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to convert a video into MP4, what settings to use. This is also a second part uh, of my series, how to convert a GoToWebinar video to a web format. Now, for those who didn't watch the first part, uh, you don't need to worry about that. It's just only for people uh, with GoToWebinar issue. Uh, in this video, I will um, uh, I want to show you that if you have a video, you can directly uh, upload it to YouTube or Facebook without doing any conversions whatsoever usually because Facebook and YouTube they have their own converting software so when you upload your video they will convert it to whatever format is most suitable for them anyway for you so you don't need to worry however if you uh, have a video and you want to use it on your own website without using uh, YouTube or any services like this or if you want to keep it on your computer and you just want to make it smaller or maybe, um, well, people have various needs for converting videos, then you need to use some software. Uh, I use here AVS Video Converter. I'm using a paid version. Uh, I think that you can use it, uh, it allows you to, um, to use it as a, a trial for 30 days or something like this. And um, I use some free software, uh, including, um, let me see, let me actually check in my many I used, um, uh, you can't see it, but I used any video converter, I used, um, oh, where is that one, okay, I can't find it, but I used quite a lot of free uh, software converting videos, and the problem with them is that if you share them on a website, and then it actually, they don't play until they are almost fully downloaded, so they're not very good for sharing on a website. And this AVS uh, video converter is uh, the only one I found. Sorry, there is also Camtasia. You can use Camtasia, uh, but uh, this one is much cheaper than Camtasia, and also is uh, I think it's cheaper, um, and also um, it's quicker than Camtasia. So what you do? It's very simple. So um, I will drag the file that I want to convert. Okay. And um, by the way, this car in the background is just my. Um, uh, desktop uh, wallpaper, so don't worry about this. Yeah, so this file uh, is uh, 115 megs almost in size. Um, so I dragged it here, that's enough. Now the output is uh, here, I can change it. So whatever you're using, uh, uh, whichever program you use, you will have an uh, output uh, folder options. Now, profile, as you can see, it's custom. Um, uh, you can see predefined profiles here. Um, so I'm encoding into mp4 and uh, what settings have I used so let me show you the advanced settings so <clears throat> uh, the original video as you can see is media video, me, uh, Windows media video that I prepared with uh, expressions um, oh I keep forgetting the name of that uh, program Microsoft expression encoder 4 um, and uh, that's the the original resolution the bitrate frame rate and the audio codec is this one. Now I'm going to convert it into MP4. Uh, I'm going to use this codec. H, I'm not going to use MPEG-4 codec. I prefer to use H.264 codec. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, efficient than MPEG-4 and it's better suited for websites. There isn't much of a difference uh, however, this H.264 is, I think, is supported by more devices and, and uh, other uh, software solutions, uh, and it's also a little bit more efficient than MPEG-4. Frame size, original. I'm not changing anything. Bitrate, uh, 1200. Let me see. For this is a webinar, um, so I for webinar I can easily keep it to. Let me see. Probably something like. 512 or even less uh, or even less and it should be fine um, how do, 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 it, it's showing me that the file will be big but I, I know it's not going to be big because there's a lot of static content so I, let's keep it 1200 uh, version uh, file type mp4 ISO version 2 not uh, ISO version 1 no um, frame rate, yeah, I'll keep it original. I can actually make it less, but yeah, let's keep it original. Advanced, well, single pass bitrate. Um, let me see. Uh, let me. 
do, do, do. we can use actually a multipass. Um, I don't know. I don't understand those settings. I couldn't find them. I know uh, any description uh, about this, but uh, let's choose multipass. Uh, maybe fast. Multipass is always better than a single pass. It takes a little bit longer, but gives you um, uh, better quality. Now here, those things you probably uh, need to be an advanced, uh, a good expert in video to understand all those things. So uh, let's leave things here as default so single pass okay uh, audio codec now I want to make this audio codec a little bit um, I don't need such a quality so let me make it smaller anyway here we have uh, 44 kilohertz so there's no point in making it larger bitrate is this so also there's no point in making it larger quality is not going to increase uh, 16 bit, yes, that's default channels. Okay, mm, now bitrate we have 1045. Yeah, let's actually, you know what, it's not gonna help any, probably not going to make any difference. So let's keep it 1045 as well. Uh, I can now save it as a profile, so it would be saved as, uh, let me see if it has saved my uh, previous profile. Um, uh, okay, I thought I saved it. MP for webinars for web. Okay, so I can choose this. I have saved it before. As you can see, before I used 384 bitrate and it worked very well for me. I even used the smaller uh, audio settings bitrate, which will be fine for a webinar. It's not a song, so we don't need a uh, high quality. So, um, yeah, as I said, we could use uh, this bitrate, but the file would be much lar larger. So I want to keep it small for my website. So I will keep it 384, which I uh, have tested. It works fine, but feel free to keep it 1200. Uh, it's not going to be much uh, bigger file because, as I said, it's static content. But still, nevertheless, what's the point if there is very little advantage in this? Uh, OK, everything's set. Um, well, I just click Convert now. The preview is unavailable because the program is preparing for data conversion. It will actually show me the preview in a moment. Initializing data conversion. Let me show you my CPU usage. As you can see, it has increased, so the program started working. Uh, it's not converting yet, just preparing the, the data. So let's see what's happening. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's starting yet. Okay, ooh, uh, that's a little bit uh, bizarre. Okay, here we go, it started working. Okay, ooh, my computer is slowing down quite a lot now. Let me show you, CPU usage, quite high. Now, in this uh, program, you also have the option of, uh, as far as I remember, decreasing the priority of the process. So let's do, do it manually, I wonder if... Oh my god, it's so slow now. Um, you need to remember to do it in advance. Yeah, I haven't done it for a while, so I forgot again. So let me find this program. So it's AVS um, Video Converter. Let me find it. Come on, come on, baby. Allow allow me to do that. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, here we go. Not It says even not responding now. I think it is responding. It's just uh, taking lots of resources. Okay, come on, I right clicked on it, nothing's happening. Okay, go to process, I'm choosing go to process. Okay, we are, okay, now it's showing CPU zero. However, this one is taking a lot of system resources, so that's the one that's guilty. So, set priority, and below normal. Confirmation dialog box will appear in a moment. Change priority, yes, I am sure, quickly. Yeah, okay, it's done it. Now my computer is responsive again. Okay, I can pause it or I can uh, set the conversion priority here below normal and set the final action. Okay, so below normal, that's what I set it in the uh, task manager, this one. So they are kind of uh, connected together, linked. 
So whether I choose it here and change it or in um, Task Manager, the same thing happens. Okay, so that's it. My video will be ready probably in, I don't know, this, um, this software says 55 minutes remaining. Well, maybe 55 minutes or an hour, maybe maybe less. We'll see. Might be more because I've chosen multipass. Um, so I hope that was uh, helpful. And uh, please uh, leave me your comments under the video and the feedback. And also, uh, you, I uh, invite you to my YouTube channel, Camilus View, and also to my blog, CamillusView.com, for some more uh, videos, not on the technical things, but many other um, useful uh, ideas for life. So thank you very much. Please uh, remember to leave your feedback. Thank you. Bye.